So Many Millions of Nominal Christians by Arthur Pink Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 Holding to the form of godliness, but denying its power. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 5 Never have there been so many millions of nominal Christians as there are today, and never has there been such a small percentage of real believers. Never has Christendom been so crowded with those who have a form of godliness, but who are strangers to its transforming power. We seriously doubt whether there has ever been a time in the history of this Christian era when there are such multitudes of deceived souls within the churches, who truly believe that all is well with their souls, when in fact the wrath of God abides on them. It is not that those empty professors who call themselves Christians are all conscious hypocrites. Rather, are they deceived souls? The tragic thing is that in most churches there is nothing in the preaching which is at all calculated to undeceive them. Instead, there is only that which bolsters them up in their delusion. There is a large class in Christendom today who are satisfied with a bare profession. They have heard some of the fundamentals of the Christian faith and have given an intellectual assent thereto, and they mistake that for a saving knowledge of the truth. Their minds are instructed, but their hearts are not reached, nor their lives transformed. They are still worldly in their affections and ways. There is no real subjection to God, no holiness of walk, no fruit for Christ's glory. Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. But small is the gate, and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. Matthew chapter 7, verse 13 and 14.